Hi everyone, it's Catherine here from Inky Finger Cat and I'm back with another of my advent card making series. Today's theme is wreath, so there's so many different wreaths out there. I had a change of plan quite early on in this, so I'd originally thought I was just going to stamp it and cut it out, but no, I decided that that was not what I was going to do. So I die cut a circle, uh, well a ring I suppose, and then I did indeed stamp all over it. That gives me my background. And you get a sneaky peek that once again I'm going to use a pre-made card. So whilst inking the circle I then had the idea of uh, creating my own green paper in order to die cut some bits and pieces from. So this is me, lots of different greens sponged on, then some splatter um, and now I'm just going to cut that piece up um, so that I can use the Tim Holtz die cuts. Um, I love these die cuts, I just think they are fab and they can be used in so many different ways. Um, so there's quite a lot of footage here of me die cutting, pushing out, die cutting more, pushing out. Um, but hopefully it'll all make sense in the end. So you'll see I've got my little ring and I'm just sort of die cutting, pushing them out and then placing them somewhere on the ring just so that I can see how much coverage I'm going to get and so I know when to stop really. Um, there's a few places where the green looks a little bit too similar so I choose which elements I'm going to die cut from where so that some of them are darker and some of them are lighter. Um, and I used quite a lot but not all of the dies that were in the set so I, I didn't use the very large sort of fir tree sprig that you can see on the right hand side. I didn't use the one that's got the little berries um, I actually love using that, not at Christmas time. And I didn't use the one that to me looks a little bit like um, some seaweed, bizarrely. Um, I mean, it will look fab and all different types of things, but yeah, that, they were the ones that I probably didn't use. And I did use like little individual leaves, etc. So now it's a matter of sticking them on. So I actually used some matte medium because I figured it was going to be the easiest way sticking down these really delicate pieces and it really wouldn't matter because it'll all dry clear at the end etc. Um, so this is me sticking them all down and I'm just literally finding little spaces in which to put things. Okay so here is the quite traditional looking paper that I found and I stuck it down and then I left it overnight so this is actually a separate day I think it might have been two days later um, when I finished it off. So now you're getting the idea that perhaps I've recorded these ahead of time. Um, the idea of recording a video every single night in the run up to Christmas is possibly impossible. Uh, there's always too many things going on, so I have prepared a few ahead of time. So here I stamped and fussy cut out some pine cones and I'm just sticking them down randomly, trying to nestle them inside of the, um, the wreath leaves. And now I just want another pop of colour, so this time I've got some holly and this is a different stamp set. Um, all the stamp sets that I used today are for from Creative um, Stamping Magazine. So they're just different sets that I've, I've accumulated over the years. Uh, so this is one where it's a layering stamp, so you've got your outline, your leaf and then your, your berries which you stamp in a different colour. And I chose not to fussy cut them as a all three leaves because that was a, a, a little bit tricky but also it didn't really need it it was more to get that pop of red in there so I fussy cut it with the berries and two leaves and at this point I'm deciding on what to do as my main sentiment and I was gonna die cut but I ended up not I'm using these Tim Holtz um, quite thick chipboard sentiments um, probably can't see it very well at the moment because I've got my block on top trying to get it to dry uh, with the ad adhesive underneath and then I did a little bow and added some stickles and that is me pretty much done so there you go there's my quite three-dimensional you can see where the sun's shining and there's lots of shadow uh, wreath for today's card making I hope you enjoyed that if you did please give me a thumbs up and until next time 